Hey everybody, it's Tim from the future. I had filmed a whole bunch of this on my phone live as you're seeing the video. Uh, and the, the audio and video got out of sync and it just, you know, the audio quality was kind of poor. And so I'm going to do voiceover for this section instead. Basically what we're getting at is I want to put three cameras that I have head to head. We've got the Cadex Turbo Micro F1. We've got the Foxier Micro Aero and the Runcam Racer 2 uh, micro size. And there's a couple of different things that I want to compare here. One is I don't really care about color accuracy in an FPV camera, but I do care about details. What I mean by that is if the branch shows up as purple, I don't really care. I, the color doesn't really matter to me. But if the branch doesn't show up because it can't grab that detail, then I hit the branch. That's a problem. So we're going to do some of those kind of comparisons and, and check out these cameras side by side. The other thing that's really interesting that happens in FPV is you'll be looking at something extremely bright. Maybe it's you looked up at the sun or uh, an extremely bright uh, gate or something, something like that. And then you dip down underneath a tree and there's shade and it's very, very dark or you do that in the, the reverse order. So that harsh transition from light to dark or dark to light, a lot of times will totally blow out a camera and you don't get any data, you get no information. The amount of time that it takes for the camera to get back to giving you reasonable information could be too long and you could crash. That's obviously a major problem. The other issue is that harsh transition, how harsh is it? Um, if it's really excessive and jarring, it might throw you off your game. So these are the kinds of things that I want to test to see what cameras I really want to put in my fleet um, of these three that I have on hand. So hopefully some of this video will help you out in selecting a camera of your own. If you see anything that I missed, please throw it in the description. Um, I'd love to get more information of, of something that you guys picked up on that I missed. So hopefully this helps and I'll see you later. The first camera here is the Cadex Turbo Micro F1. In this first test, we are just uh, trying to go in the, the shaded area from underneath the porch and then kind of look back up right at the sun. So kind of a worst case scenario from as dark as you can really fly into to as bright as you can fly into. And we're just looking back and forth up and down here. And then we go ahead and turn around. We take a look at the tree and uh, some of the other details behind us and then shoot up to a bright area. So this is like a, you know, normal brightness to very brightness as opposed to a full shadow to, to brightness. So we can kind of get a look and feel for the, the differences here. This second camera we just switched to is the Fox Ear Micro Aero. And we're gonna do the same exact test again here, uh, darkness to super bright, dark to super bright. And then we'll go ahead and turn around, take a look at the bark on this tree and see what we can see. Um, and then go back to some brightness and just uh, back and forth what kind of details we're getting out of this and how quickly it's really transitioning to uh, provide us those details. The third and final camera in this test here is the Runcam Racer 2 Micro. And again, we are looking at the porch in the shaded kind of area and then right above the edge of the, the roof there, we're getting the bright, bright sun so we're looking at lens flare here. We're looking at how quickly it transitions, all that good stuff. And then uh, just like the others, checking a look, a look at some of the details behind us and back up at the bright sun. Now the next test, and we switch on back to the Cadex Turbo Micro F1. We're taking a look at this bush over here to the right. So first we're, we're kind of looking over here from a, a distance. You can barely even see it. There's really just kind of the the, uh, the trunk of it. Now that we get up closer, you can definitely start to see some of the branches here as we look around it. And then I believe I take a step back and we, we look at a slightly different angle here, still from the same side. But yeah, wow, I mean, they blend right in with the sky there. You can't really see much at all. Our next one here, we're back to the Fox Ear Micro Arrow. And you definitely see quite a bit more detail, it looks like to me, as far as those branches go. Um, and then when we get up on it, you can, I mean, you can see much more detail. I'll have to put these cameras side by side next to you know, these videos side by side next to each other and really take a look. Um, now with some backdrop behind it, man, those are hard to see some of those branches, but, uh, definitely better than the, uh, Caddx in my opinion. And finally here, we've got the Runcam Racer 2. Um, it looks 
like the pictures overly sharpened you get some like weird coloring distortion on the edges but i don't know that i hate that um you might end up even seeing slightly more detail i think that the picture quality might be worse um because of the the hyper sharpening here but as a result of that hyper sharpening you might be able to see some details a little better so now i've taken all three and i just cropped them in so you can only see the center section and this is the direct uh, dark to light dark to light and then now is uh, more details on the back and then brightness on the front so the left screen is the uh, catex the middle is the fox ear and the right is the run cam all right coming up now i just took a screen grab of the basically worst case scenario of the frame exactly after a light to dark transition for the catex is what you just saw a light to dark transition of the fox ear are these next two clips here and finally a light to dark transition of the run cam this is the frame immediately following the uh, light to dark transition and now we have a dark to light transition see how blown out it gets this is the catex and one more of the catex a dark to light transition now we have the fox ear a dark to light transition seeing how blown out the image gets and then finally here we have the run cam a dark to light transition and that doesn't give the entire story um, we also care about how long it actually takes to fully transition from one to the next so this is slow-mo you're seeing like frame by frame and we can go in here and try and count number of frames that it takes to actually transition over so you can see it really blow out and then kind of settle back down and be real dark and then kind of settle back in so again that was the caddox you just saw this is now the fox ear and the fox ear does a pretty good job as far as timing relative to the caddox i think uh, they both blow out quite a lot um, the fox ear has a really weird uh, light to dark transition where it, it, it freaks out and the run cam in my opinion is the clear winner here it's just so much faster than the other two and it, it seems even at its worst um, that immediate frame after is not quite as bad all right now we've got some stills of the bush so this is the caddox close this is the caddox more far away followed by the fox ear up close and the fox ear a little bit further away and finally the run cam up close and the run cam far away all right in this last visual here i have all three side by side that is caddx fox ear then uh, run cam in that order of close up to that bush tree thing and this is further away As far as phantom branch detail, that's a tough one to call. Uh, the colors are so drastically different and uh, that's hardly a scientific test. I didn't really take them from the same location. Those lenses themselves don't have the same exact um, field of view. So it could be down to angles. It could be uh, the sunlight. It could be you know a whole host of different things. So it's a little hard to tell. It seems to me as if the detail clearly is higher with the fox ear and the run cam. Um, even just flying generally, I've noticed I've had trouble with the caddx and I've not had trouble with the other two. Um, the low light performance of the run cam is very poor. I noticed that the, the fox ears is much better. Um, I don't know that I've flown the caddx in low enough light to... Um, really have noticed that so that's hard to tie in there so these are not the only variables i'm just trying to put out what i possibly can so you guys can make your own decision as far as uh, quality of camera i would love to hear in the comments below what you guys think of the different cameras um if you if you can point out a particular thing that i missed that would be awesome um but as far as what i've seen i think i'm probably going to switch my fleet over to uh, the run cam twos and keep the fox ears on deck for uh, replacements for when i break stuff uh, but i think i'm going to be running the run cam two as the primary camera 
um, because I have enough of them to have all of my quads be the same exact camera. And I think consistency is really uh, important. The other thing is that that high to low light testing we did earlier in the video, I, I personally felt as if the run cam was the clear winner there. Uh, but I, again, I would love to hear you guys' comments and what you see in this footage because maybe you'll pick up something that I missed. So if you can highlight that to me, that would be really, really helpful. So um, hopefully this video was informative for everybody and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.